my life as Geekai on this channel I create videos on product reviews makeup tutorials and lifestyle advice with the aim to entertain educate and enrich the lives of others so if you're new here please consider subscribing I would love to have you join my Geekai family in today's video I'm going to be doing a makeup tutorial with this look going on right here for this look I'm going to be using the lit collection by Bretman Rock created in collaboration with Colourpop I'm really in love with this eyeshadow palette guys I love how these shades have blended out on my eyelids anyway you will see in the video exactly how i apply this look before i go any further if you guys do enjoy my content then please be sure to give the video a thumbs up and subscribe before you leave if you haven't already i do put new videos out every monday wednesday and friday so you can turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any of those uploads now without further ado let's get into this video i guess i'll just start then first of all I don't know what the F is going on with my hair right now. Actually, I do know. I washed it last night, so now it's more fluffy than normal. But I'm get it out of my face. As usual, I'm going to first start with priming my eyelids. I'm going to go in with my L'Oreal 24 Hour Concealer Pomade. And as usual, it's a base much too light for me because I want the colors that I'm going to be applying on top to stand out. Okay, this is the wet eyeshadow palette in the collection. I'm going to take this shade Skinny Legend on a large fluffy brush and apply that all over where I apply the concealer just to provide myself with a smooth base for the colors that I want to blend on top. Now taking the shade Ewa Beach, I'm going to apply that in my transition. As you can see, I'm taking that shade and just blowing it out absolutely everywhere. Now taking the shade I'm chillin', I'm going to apply that tightly into my crease. I forgot to talk. I forgot you were even there. I was just carried away applying makeup. So basically what I'm doing with the shade I'm chillin' is creating a huge V on the outer part of my eye. I know it looks really crazy right now, but trust the process. Or maybe don't trust the process. I don't even know what this is gonna look like afterwards, but trust the process. <laughs> and yeah, I'm just gonna keep on applying that pigment on the outer V of my eye. I'm not scared to let it fall down here because I can clean that up afterwards anyway, as per usual. And I'm just going to Blend that up into the crease as well. Now I'm taking a flat packing brush. I'm gonna give it a bit of a spritz. And I'm going to go into the shade LOL I'm Crying, which is a really gorgeous cobalt sort of shade. And I'm going to apply that all over my lid. Bretman Rock ain't playing. That's some beauty right there. I'm finding this shade is applying a whole lot more pigmented when I don't apply it wet. Like, how did that even work? It's so freaking pretty. Now I'm taking the shade Mood and I'm going to use that to sort of use as a gradient transition shade between the dark that I applied on the outside and the cobalt that I applied on the inside. And I'm just going to blend that in between the two. Okay, now this is the shade I'm really excited for. I'm going to go into the shade Thickums. It's a really cool silvery toned sort of shadow. I'm gonna take that on the same flat tipped packing brush and I'm going to apply that right in the center of my eyelid. Oh damn! Damn girl, you're not playing around. Okay, kind of lost the blue underneath. I'm going to go back into the shade Mood and redefine that color there and then I'm going to go into the shade LOL I'm Crying and redefine this shade there. Okay, 
Okay, now that I've got that fallout all over my face, I think I'll feel a little bit better once I've cleaned this up and got the rest of my face on. So, I'm just gonna do that. See, that already looks better now that I've cleaned it all up. Right, so I'm gonna apply my foundation concealer bronzer off camera and I'll be right back. Now that I have my foundation and concealer on, I'm going to go in with the cream blush before I apply any powders to my face. So I'm just gonna take this blush on a sponge and apply it that way to my cheeks. Okay, don't wanna to go too, too crazy with the blush, but that is a really pretty color. It's showing up a little bit more vibrant on camera than it really is in person. On my skin in person, it's just got a really nice, gentle glow. It looks like I've applied too much on camera, but in person, god dang, it's pretty. Now that I've got that cream product on, I'm going to go in with my bronzer. I'm just using the Morphe bronzer. The blush looks a lot better now when it's got a bronzer blended into it. I like the way my skin's looking today though. To finish off the eyes, I kind of feel like it's missing a little bit something on the upper lid. So I'm going to take this angled brush, pick up some of that shade Thickums, and apply that to where the... and apply that to above... hmm... How do I say this? I'm just going to show you. Does that make sense? Gonna take some of that shade LOL I'm crying and reapply that on the inner part of my eye. It's got a fair bit of fallout though, so just be aware of that. I'm going to go in with some black eyeliner in my waterline. But I'm just gonna keep it on the outer corners of my eye. Taking that angled packing brush, I'm gonna go into the shade Mood and pack that really tightly all along my lower lash line. I'm gonna take the shade LOL I'm Crying and apply that on the inner part of my lower lash line. I'm gonna take this tiny, tiny tipped uh, blending brush. This is the Morphe E36. I'm gonna take it into the shade I'm Chillin' and blend that out under the lower lash line. Again, I forgot to talk, sorry. Mmm, stop doing that. I'm the worst YouTuber ever. I'm just taking that icy shade Thickums, reapplied it in the center of my lid there, then I'm going to the shade Mood and sort of using that to redefine the outer V of that eye look there. And then taking that small blending brush again into the shade I'm chilling. I'm just gonna use that to really lightly blend out the edges here. And now because I want a little pop of something, something in my inner corners right here, I'm going to take the shade Thickums and another E36 brush. I'm going to apply that right in my inner corner here. Just really, really lightly. Really lightly, she said. That did not happen. You gotta be careful with that shade. That one just like explodes everywhere in a good way. I want to blend out the edges there. It's just kind of looking a little bit harsh. I'm really loving this look. Although when I look closely, I have a whole heap of fallout on my face. Check it out. There's like fallout on my nose. It's actually stuck in my foundation. Gosh, dang it. Guess I'll just have a blue hue today. <laughs> I'm going to go in with liner and mascara off camera. I'll be right back. Right, I've got liner and mascara on. I know this look would probably benefit with some really fluffy, pretty, dramatic lashes, but I don't actually have any nice ones. I only got the crappy plastic ones off eBay. <laughs> so I'm just gonna skip them all together. I'm now gonna go in with the wet lip bundle. Ooh, this is pretty. And simply because this is part of the bundle, I'm just gonna use it on my lips. I'm assuming that it'll match the look. Let's hope it does. <laughs> so first off, I'm going to go in with the lip liner. This one is in the shade BFF3. Now I'm going to go in with the Ultra Satin Lip. This one is in the shade Shikyu. Okay, Shikyu. I need highlight. Oh my goodness, I need highlight. I can't believe this collection doesn't have highlight. 
right, man. Anyway, so I'm going to use my Milani Strobe Light Highlight. This one is a little bit more of an icy, pinky sort of hue, so it doesn't really clash with the blue that I have going on in my eyes. I really like this highlight because it's more of a subtle glow rather than chunky glittery highlight because I already have so much going on on my eyes right now I just kind of want a subtle glow I'm going to use my Morphe Continuous Setting Mist and then I'm going to dab some of that highlight on again Now that the lipstick has sort of not dried down because it is a satin lip but sort of like gone a little bit not as slippery when you first initially apply it. I'm gonna go in with the lip gloss. This one is in the shade Kumquat and it looks icy blue in the tube but let's see how it applies on the lips. It comes off as more of a clear gloss just giving the lips a little bit of a shine. Makes the lips look wet. It smells like lollies. I like this lip gloss. I just I'm not a fan of the applicator though. I'm just taking it all over my lips now because it's so pretty. Hmm. She, now I dropped it. Okay, I like this lip gloss. It's juicy, really juicy. Oh. <laughs> See that? This is why I don't wear lip gloss very often. Or maybe just don't over apply it. There's a thought. All right, so I guess this is the uh, finished look. And uh, I'm gonna get out of this t-shirt because I actually slept in it, so I need to get dressed. I'll be right back. Okay, so this is the finished look. I finally got dressed and put some proper clothes on. <laughs> I know I've got a lot going on right now, but you know what? I'm gonna roll with it because I like how my makeup looks today and I like how this top pairs in my makeup and with my red hair. By the way, what do you guys think of my red hair? I'm actually really, really loving having short hair. I haven't had short hair ever since I was 12 years old, I don't think. I always had hair that was way below my waist, sometimes even down to my bum. So really long hair and loving this short hair now. It's kind of freeing and there's so much less hair to take care of. It uses so much less product too. So anyway, this is not about my hair. This is about my makeup look. What do you guys think? Have you guys used the Bretman Rock Wet Collection? It is a real, real stunner. I am in love with this collection. I actually like it a whole lot more than the Lit Collection. I mean, the Lit Collection was like bomb as well. I really love the Lit Bundle in that collection, but dang, these eyeshadows though. I really, really love it. Definitely would recommend. I'm so proud of Bretman Rock for putting something out like this and representing the Filipino community in this way, in this product. And I'm so proud. You can see here he's wearing the barong. In the lit collection, he's wearing the Filipiniana dress on the cover. And I'm so proud of Bretman Rock and having the Filipinos represented this way in the beauty community. So. This is it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Be sure to subscribe before you leave if you haven't already. I put new videos out every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. So turn on the notification bell if you don't want to miss any of those future uploads. You can also follow me on my social media, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. All of them are life as Geekai. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for being here. And I really appreciate that you've chosen to spend your time with me here today. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. I guess I'll just start then. Let's do this. Let's just do this. Judy, you can do this. I'm gonna give it a bit of a spritz all over my lid place. My lid. I'm gonna apply it all over my lid. What is happening right now? I don't even know what I'm doing. Don't know. I'm just I'm just going for it now. Just going for it. Dang, she's pigmented. Holy hell. Oh my god, I haven't even set my face yet. What am I doing? I'm all over the place today. All over a zip lace. Maybe that was a bit much, but some beauty right there. I better go put some pants on because I got a friend coming to see me in a minute. So <laughs> I better go. Thank you guys so much for watching.